Good evening. After years of hiding and a multi-state manhunt, an accused killer caught here in the metro. That's more than 500 miles away from where he was set free by mistake. Tonight, the man charged with gunning down Dontavious Catchings at a funeral is finally behind bars at the Hennepin County Jail. And that is where we found our Alan Henry. And Al, I understand that you talked to the U.S. Marshal's office tonight. Yeah, that's right, Amelia. A $10,000 reward had been put up for the arrest of Kevin Mason, but the U.S. Marshals say all they needed to catch him was a little time and a lot of teamwork. Yeah, so we uh, are fugitive hunters. A new mugshot for Kevin Mason after U.S. Marshals helped hunt him down. They've been working around the clock with local, state, and federal authorities. Literally talking with uh, Deputy U.S. Marshals and other task forces uh, throughout the country uh, to though not only put together the analysis associated with this fugitive's flight, uh, but put together the information necessary to continue and uh, eventually apprehend this individual. Mason was wanted for the 2021 murder of Dontavious Catchings and had been caught in Indianapolis on September 11th before being accidentally released by jail clerks two days later. They were short staffed, they're underpaid. That's not an excuse, but it's a fact. Technically, I couldn't afford to fire the two people I did because we don't have another replacement. But I also could not afford to have people who would release somebody on murder charge of the street. Catching's mother was understandably upset by the news of Mason's mistaken release. It's killing me. I mean, like, it's just like right now when they like, released him, it's like I, this is starting all over again for me. Marshals tracked Mason for more than 500 miles from Indy to South St. Paul, where he was surveilled on Summit Avenue and eventually arrested Wednesday afternoon. All of it, they say, thanks to teamwork on all levels. It, it gives us the, the abilities to operate in a very dynamic and complex environment. Uh, of course, technology is utilized uh, across the board to help us uh, move forward with these fugitive apprehensions because they are. They're, they're very fluid. Uh, they move all over. And on top of a second degree murder charge, Mason is also facing a warrant for firearms possession and parole violation. He'll be making his first appearance in court tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. Amelia. All right. Thank you, Alan.